What is the meaning of the word love? When you try to figure out what the word love means, there are all sorts of ways you could learn. You could learn from love stories like uh, movies and cartoons that have a princess and a prince that live happily ever after. That's a kind of love. It's the kind that makes your heart feel tingly. You could learn from watching a mom take care of a little baby and see that the mom is very nice to the baby, wants to cuddle the baby. That's, that's a kind of love. But there's a special kind of love that the Bible talks about. It's the kind of love that God wants all of us to have. And the only way we can learn about that is by seeing it in the Bible. So here's a Bible passage all about love from 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. That's a beautiful description of love. It is the kind of love that, that always puts someone else before yourself. But when I read that description of love, I sometimes feel a little sad because I'm not very good at that kind of love. I'm a sinner, and so I'm not always patient, and I'm not always kind, and sometimes I envy, and sometimes I boast, and sometimes I'm proud. I've known a lot of people, and all of them have the same problem I do. It's nice to think about love, but it's really hard to do it well. So one time a pastor taught me a neat little trick. He said, in, when you read that Bible passage, replace the word love with the word Jesus and replace the word it with the word he. Then it sounds like this. Jesus is patient. Jesus is kind. He does not envy. He does not boast. He is not proud. He does not dishonor others. He is not self-seeking. He is not easily angered. He keeps no record of wrongs. Jesus does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. He always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Jesus never fails. That's such a great description because Jesus is love which means that Jesus will always love you. Even if you are not a perfect lover, Jesus will love you perfectly. Jesus never fails to love you, which means that when he died on the cross, he saved you. And here's the coolest part, if you ask me. After Jesus died on the cross, after he saved you, he moved into your heart. Jesus lives in here, in my heart, and Jesus lives in your heart, which means, guess what? You get to show the same kind of love that Jesus does. It makes you feel so special when Jesus loves you and now you get to show Jesus-style love to other people. So now, when Jesus lives in you, you can be patient and kind. You can be not self-seeking. You can be not easily angered. You don't have to keep a record of wrongs. Jesus lives in you to make you love others. And Jesus never fails. Let's say a prayer about that. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me so perfectly. Help me to love others every single day. Amen. Here's a chance to talk about something before you close the video. Talk about this question. How will you show Jesus-style love to somebody today? Have fun talking. I'll see you next week.